there, friends. I'm Finny, and I love exploring the deep blue sea. Today, I'm going on an adventure to learn more about our underwater world. Would you like to join me? Look at these corals. Did you know that corals are actually made up of tiny creatures called polyps? They work together to build these beautiful homes. And over there, you can see a school of fish. Fish often stick together in groups like this to protect themselves from predators. It's like having a big family watching out for each other. Oh, and there's Harry the seahorse. Seahorses are special because they can move each eye independently. Can you imagine looking in two different directions at once? Wow, look up there. That's Wendy the whale. Whales are the largest animals in the ocean, but many of them eat tiny plankton and small fish. It's amazing how such big creatures can eat such small food, isn't it? And here's a clam. Clams filter water to get their food. They suck in water and trap tiny particles to eat. It's like using a strainer to find snacks. This beautiful plant-looking thing is an anemone. And guess what? Some fish, like clownfish, live among its tentacles. The anemone protects them from predators. And in return, the clownfish helps keep the anemone clean. It's all about helping each other down here. The ocean is full of wonders, isn't it? From the tiniest plankton to the biggest whales, every creature has its place and role in the underwater world. And remember, we all need to protect this beautiful home to keep it safe for everyone. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope you learned something new and had fun. Until next time, keep exploring and learning about the wonderful world around us.